Hey there, everyone. This is Alcow, and I'm playing Wario. I feel like playing with some Wario today. So we're playing some. Gonna do some more grid. Last time, we finished nature, and we had a good time. And so uh, today we're gonna start the IQ world. Why, why not? Yeah, these are gonna be different. Genre IQ. This is a completely different vibe. Good day, Earthling. I am Arbilon. My games will test your cranial capacity, for I am clever by human standards. Uh, but how about your standards? Yes, my intellectual quote in this 300. I have been lenient in my time limits to give you lesser beings a chance of success. I don't like his mug attitude. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. All right, so praise our haze. We're starting with two, 20 points. Choose the word that most resembles the example. All right, I'm gonna select and then I'm gonna enter. Why are we starting with two? So demo is, oh, we're supposed to choose the wrong one? All right, so you don't like demo, got it. Got it, praise, uh, smart. Yeah, oh, 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 oh. I don't- I need to look at the actual command. Okay, got it. Sorry. Yeah, praise. Neat! Okay, and it was like insult or whatever on the first time. Got it. Okay. Wow, I forgot how much time you have to answer on these. Praise! Cool! It's the first one. So we're just kind of sitting here. It's pretty good. I mean, I guess you can also play the game by playing the game of, like, which one is uh, different? So yeah, hey, he's a praise. Got it. Yeah, that's the name of the game. Okay, that makes sense. Crackers, what? Well, hey, is he's snooty? He snoots. He, uh, I don't know. He sniffles a lot, and it's really gross. Uh, intriguing. Okay, yeah, intriguing is good. Um, yeah, intriguing. Intriguing is like the. Um, the positive version of bore, uh, boring. No, I said boring because boring was highlighted. Uh, intriguing is the positive way of saying weird. Like if something is weird, but you want to be nice about it, like that's what you say, right? You say that it is intriguing. This is way too easy, and it's it's kind of dull. I I feel like the time is just too um, long. Like I <laughs> I don't know. Hey, it's terrible! Uh, that seems harsh for hazing. Like, that's just... There's a difference between hazing and insulting. Neat! Cat is neat. Sure. Praise! Super! Yeah, look at that. Like, we're like halfway through the thing. And, I mean, I like, I get it. Uh, they have to give people a time to actually read the information. So... So I understand. But, uh, I don't know, I feel like, in terms of pacing, pacing, uh, it doesn't really work. Groovy. See, yeah, like, you gotta make sure that kids understand that groovy is a good thing. Praise? Intriguing, sure, why not? I wasn't, like, even actually reading. The, 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 I read digressing, I was like, hmm, that's not really a word? What? Oh, whoops. I was supposed to haze, but I got my 20 points. But like, how long is this going to go? Uh, like, I'm kind of curious to know what's the experience when times go fast, but... Like, this just, it's just, it, it is, just, I don't know, I feel like it doesn't really work. Like, it's just conceptually... And this is two, so... Th this, whoops, sorry. I, I saw the game is great, I was like, well... You know, I'm, I'm gonna say that, and you know, that's what I'm thinking. I wasn't supposed to say what I was thinking. Oh, bad. Oh, that's really mean. Demo ain't bad. Lousy. And here's the haze part. It's bad. Cry gore. Go to the bathroom. Fantastic. Uh, boring. All right, we're at the part where I don't really have time to make statements. So I'm just gonna read things. Ugly. Whoa, that's pretty harsh. Oh, whoops, was was on the first one. I tend to not read the first one. I tend to not read the option where your arrow starts at. Whoops. Haze is not compliment. Those are very different things. 
do whoa, do do what you do yet yeah, too. So there's gonna be more. Great! Alright. Maze days 15 points. Find your way through the maze. Use the molecule transferring units as pathways. We need it, by the way. I can't remember that. Yeah, this is your maze, your navigator. It's like, well, check it out. I'm the dancer, and I gotta get to the husband. There you go. Controls are a bit. I don't know. Like they're like I overshot. So uh, that's a molecule transfer. Oh, whoops. I misunderstood the maze. I got got by the maze. You know what? Let's let's have a do over. I don't like to lose in the first three. Navigate. All right. So yeah, like I saw that I I like I. I thought there was a symmetry, but no, the game knew that I thought there'd be a symmetry and not give a proper look. I think this is what this game is all about, right? Like, it's gonna trick you like that. Like, if you just kind of glance at it, it's like, oh, well, there's clearly a path here. But that's not enough. You have to actually look and go down the actual path. That's why it's IQ and not QVC. Those are very different things. The letters there. You mean different things, probably. All right, so then you do that. Oh, you go around. Uh, oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Uh, I kind of almost didn't have enough time there. All right, so you want circles. So you gotta, you got, you have to take a second to observe. You have to acknowledge your environment here. I mean, it, it is not optional. Uh, 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 go down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, yes. the controls is what's making me die here, though. Like, there's something a little... slippery. Like, when you can follow corners and whatnot, like, it's fine, I don't care. But when you have to, like, very specifically go into a lane... I find it, uh, I don't know, like, I, I find it a little bit hard to control in a, in a strange way. Right, so I'm gonna go here. Like you gotta, you gotta make a turn early, basically, earlier than I feel necessary. Oh, you literally just had that. Yeah, there's gonna be repeats. Like I wonder how many room setups there is, because you know I feel like it's. Oh shoot! See there again. Uh, yeah, it's a level one, but my issue is see here. It's easy because you just turn into the walls, and it's fine, and there's no problem. I want circle. But if I do not have that ability. Uh, 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 uh. Especially at the higher speed, so it's probably on purpose. I'm gonna go ahead and assume this is cool. This I like this one. It's clever because yeah, like you pop out of the so, yeah, yeah yeah see overshooting, and then I'm stuck here in the snake and yeah, and I'm gonna get digested. Here we go. This one is kind of free, kind of free one here just for fun. Uh, 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 uh. See this is whoa. Okay, I was in front. It's all good. Uh, uh, you end up here, and it's like, uh, uh, yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's a 15 point. Yeah, no, it's easy to it's it's easy to have difficulty. <laughs> it's easy to struggle going to the lanes. Maybe it's just me. M maybe it's somehow easier in a real GBA. I don't see how, but could be. Sphinx hijinks. 30 points. That's a lot. Locate the piece of building material that completes the. Pyramid structure. Slack and enter. Alright, so if I enter, maybe it'll go faster. So match is like, whoa, find the block of the Oh wow, we still have to wait out the entire timer. Times 30! Oh boy! Alright, uh no, uh, there we go. Now we get to wait after the bomb. Oh, that is weird. It doesn't work! Nah, all right, this is a uh, uh, no, no, it's the, no, no, no. You know what? I'm gonna keep at it. It's fine. Oh, says the Sphinx. I don't know how I miss saw that. Like for real? Well, I'm gonna tell you why. It's because I, I I went too quickly. Like you know, the first two round they went by very very well. So immediately, immediately, I succumb to hubris. I love how all the lines on the pyramid art is like all sloppy. Like, it doesn't, like, it would not work at all as a pyramid, but the pieces we put in are pretty geometric. Like, I don't know, it's funny. It's probably on purpose. Like, if you don't look, look at it, like, it doesn't, like, strike out or anything as weird or anything. 
So, um, yeah, it looks, you know, level 3 is the one that has, like, more complicated shapes. I think it's, like, a bunch of Tetris shapes on level 1. Then it's, like, all variants on the same shape for level 2. Level 3 has, like, the weird shapes. So, smaller shapes, but they're all extremely different on level 1. But on level 2, you know, they're gonna... Yeah, see? It's just the same shape being spun around, so it's a little bit harder. And then this one just has, like, weirder shapes. Which you would think would make it easier if the shapes are weird, but they still share enough similarity. And also, like, if they're gonna trick you with, like, like weird corners and stuff, I think is the thing. Like, that, like the, the, the one loss I got, yeah. Like, that's what happened. Uh, no, uh, uh, you. There you go. Yeah, see? Yeah, I get it. Halfway there! Put down the side L. Uh, it's like Tetris, but you only need to put one piece. And then you know if you won or not. It's very, very action-packed Tetris here. Check that out. Whoa, I put the snake zone. It's two Tetris blocks that's put together. They're like morged. They are fused. They are jar carpenter the fly together. And to one beautiful, tasty, healthy meal made of gruel and hash browns. I don't think that would work very well together. Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Gruel and hash browns. I mean, you could make a theme song about it. But not everything that you can make a theme song about becomes a good thing. Like, that is one of those classic philosophies. Uh, I, I got lost. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I was like, wait, is that the right block? And it took me too long to determine that no, it was not the right block. And see, that's how level 3 is the hardest. It's because, you know, you have to use, you know, some brain power to determine if it's the right one or not. And uh, if you don't, like, you know, like, like it's the kind of thing where, you know, it takes a finite of mind. Uh, mind. Uh, it takes a finite mind. You know, if your mind is infinite, you will struggle with this game quite a bit. So, uh, it's because my mind is not infinite that I do not feel myself struggling. But sometimes there's a leak which technically renders slightly more infinite, and that's, uh, you know, that's the deaths I got. Anyway, the game is faster. It's a lot funner more now, I feel like. You know, there's, like, a little bit more steak. A little bit more rye bones. Uh, that, that sphinx is high. I don't know why I care so much, because, like, it can't even see it. Wow, I was pressing the button and it did not put it in. Like, I was press. The button didn't button. Was it because it was too fast after I swerved? Maybe. Well, I got the flower, now we're gonna play cups. The great cover cup. 30 points. Okay. Watch the upside down liquid contain. Just call them glasses or cups. Which one hides an object? Your face. Move cursor and select. All right, we can do that. Sure, choose. The coin is there. Oh boy, doing that 30 times, huh? Probably a little bit more too, huh? All right, choose. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you're over here now. Okay, so there is wrap around and a cursor. Always good to know. Do 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 do. All right, level three. All right, so there's some faking out, and the wick started before the glasses were done. That's kind of mean. So, gives you a little bit less time. All right, so hey, do that ten more times. <laughs> On our way to Coin City. Oh. Yeah, and then you, you just stop moving it. Then you start moving the other cup. I mean, but you have to do that. Like, that's part of the process. If you just move the one with the cup in it, like, you're not- you're not gonna fool anyone. You have to move all of them. That's just math, is it? Yeah, sure. It's right here. See, that one you moved all the time. So, but, you know... Yes. <laughs> Glad I had this conversation. My favorite part about this game is the presentation. Very fancy. I really am feeling like I am getting busked out there on the road. How many point thirty? All right. I mean, look. I'm not saying, not saying this is a little bit boring, but I have literally just said that using those words. 
in that order. I mean, it's gonna get a little bit more, more fun, you know, as things get more fast, but... You gotta get there, you gotta build, you gotta build up to when it gets more fast, and we are kind of getting- See, if it started at this level, no complaints. But, I feel like doing, like, the early ten games sort of, like, dulls the mind on the way, but maybe that's on purpose, you know? Like, the person flipping the cups, like, he knows that, you know, he wants you to lose, because he's a jerk. He's like, oh, I'm gonna start easy, you know, it's just kinda... Put his brain to sleep a little bit. It's gonna be fun because then, you know, he's, he's gonna have to wake up to do the rest. Boy, howdy, we are not even a 20 yet. Here we go. Whoa. Yeah, I saw those fast cups, but they weren't had the coin in it. Okay, that one was a lot of fun because it's just like intense maneuvering of two. Oh, that was fun too. Like little hops we're doing. Little hop, like doing a little bit of Mario. But my eyes cannot deceive me. They can, but they are not deceiving me right now. Here again, doing the little hop. I like that little ha move. Is there a name? Like in the cup moving community. Like, is there a name to the moves you can do t with the cups? <laughs> Sounds like that's a ridiculous thing to wonder about, but I that's what I'm wondering about now. I don't know. So did anyone lose any yet? Cause see, this is the fun, fun thing about these games. In, I knew it. The fun thing about these games in particular is that you can play at home. And uh, 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 yeah. There we go. Last second. There we go. And uh, you can figure out if you would have won or not by now. I'm assuming. Well, here's the thing. If you're just watching passively at home and you don't have to make the action of actually selecting and also saying absolute blathering nonsense at the same time. I feel like you have it. I thought so. I I don't know why. No. Oh, I had it wrong. Like, I don't know. Now it goes too fast. My eyes cannot actually follow. I had it! <laughs> I did not know. Okay, at this point it was going physically too fast. I mean, I could, if, again, if I wasn't on video, I think I could just do, but talking while playing actually does dull your, like, reaction speeds, and I think it really does. We got two more games to do, and one of them is NAS games, the Orange Identity Crisis! 30 points again! Ugh! Which item flies through the light source? Select. Wisley. Select. Da -da. Watch, I'm watching. There's a light. Oh, okay, yeah, it's that thing. Which one of these puzzle pieces? 30 points. But it was an orange in the, in the, in, in the thumbnail. What's up with that? Well, yeah, see, okay, so there's also lemons. See, lemons, that's... Fruits is a lot easier. Because I, I know what it is. I can put in my brain lemon. But when it's a shape, see, that's a four. Four fingers. No, I can not put a name to it. But when it's an abstract chunk of metal with a cut in it, like, how do... Uh, great! And also, it will just say it out loud, and it's gonna help a lot. That grape was, like, very thick with fruit. Oh, that's an apple. Alright, it's gonna go and kill the kid. Just flying by. You know, the, the kid's happening over on the right somewhere, off stage. It's an X! Red X, okay. Uh, well, yellow X. Red background. Look, I knew what I meant. <laughs> Lego with six, green. All right, <laughs> I didn't know what mattered. So, uh, say out loud everything. That's a cabbage? Yeah, okay. I mean, it was kind of leafy, it was light green. That's fine. Uh, two, peace sign, here we go. Peace sign, but my finger moved to the right instead. I don't know why, soccer. I, like, I knew the thing was up, but I don't know, I think I saw the general shape of it. And my fingers thought it was a good idea to act before my brain did. Like, like my reflex brain acted before my reasoning brain. Which, you know, that's the job of reflexes. That is working as intended. Uh, except, you know, it led to a mistake. And, you know, like, is, isn't it like the fact that a lot of martial arts is that? Is that training your reflex part of your brain to do, like, the right thing? to do what your reason brain would do. Pointing up. Like you. 
All the fingers point up. I don't know what I mean. I know what I mean. Oh, it's like a P zone. There you go. Name one of the shapes, I guess. Uh, it's a flap. Okay. Flap? Oh, okay. Oh, that one's weird. That one. That's the weird one. It doesn't have a name. Alright, whoosh. Grape. Grape is easy, because it looks like grape. Nothing in the world looks like grapes, other than ducks. T. Uh, whenever I say T, I mean like reverse T. I'm talking about the T Tetris. That's mushroom. I meant orange, and my brain was saying orange, but my mouth said mushroom. I don't know why. Not very the same thing. In fact, you could argue there are more dissimilarities than not. Well, I don't know. They're both things you can eat. I, d I think was a down the answer there. Oh boy. Uh, okay. Detach like lower left corner. Candy blue. I never had to select that before. That's scary. Apple and see that's easy at this speed. At this speed, if you get colors, like that's all you need really. That's like a two sign, right? Yeah, peace. Peace it out, Sailor Venus. All right, here's the candy zone. See, cause it's blue and it's the only blue one. I think that's when I was looking at a top line. All right, see, great, easy town, fancy town. The fanciest lemon in the world just passed by and we barely had time to really appreciate it. Oh, it's that one. It's red, red background. When I say red, it's red background. Yellow, that's broccoli. Wow, that's a real thing that exists. You can eat it in your mouth and everything. It's hard to eat in any other places. Oh, I, I got wrong. I did the wrong. Hands, I feel like, might be the hardest one. Because, like, these colors are all the same and the shapes are honestly pretty similar. There, I didn't have time. Like, I had to, like, in my mind, kind of, like, reconstruct the object real quick. And I did not have time to actually input the command with my thumb. It was going at great speed. Last game for the day. Yeah, today's going caterwauld. Going kind of long, but they're all long games. See, this is 15 points. My house lounging feline unit is lost. Find it for me. Please. This alien has a cat. Move light, select. All right, there's like a thousand cats. Search. Oh, right. We got to look for... Okay, and I got to press the button. Got it. All right, we're detecting cats today. And we are going to select a cat and say, it's that cat. It's that cat. So it's brown with stripes. Stripey brown. And the higher the level, the more cats. So there's like a whole colony here. Oh boy. Alright, so we want, uh, you. There you go. And it makes a cute little, like, mirror sound. That's the sound cats make when they mew. Alright, uh, gray tabby looking guy. I'm assuming guy, but I don't know. I wouldn't be able to tell. Calico is probably a lady. The rest, no real way to know. Talking about a calico. Well, it's calico, but without like black spots. Is that, it's like with yellow and orange spots? It seems, all right, so we got like a Dalmatian cat. Is that you? I wasn't sure. Oh, the other one's a tuxedo. Okay, yeah, got it. Okay, uh, see that's a proper calico. Look at that, ah, beautiful. I don't know why I love calico so much. You just kind of stand out to me. Oh, that's, that's not, there you are. There you go, you were cleaning yourself. On this box, discarded in an alley somewhere. Brown with white, uh, where? That's not you. Where, which one was it? Is it the one that was on the trash? On the trash bin? Cause like, it's like on its belly like that. And I think I just kind of didn't like notice the white of the belly. And that's what I'm thinking happened, but I don't know. Searching for a little guy. Hey, I pressed the button. The game was like, well, are you sure? I think again, it's because like the timing of things changed. Uh, and sometimes like I'm pressing too early. Like when I'm not actually on the thing. That's what I'm thinking. There you go. Cat on the garbage. The cat there on the garbage looked to be significantly fatter than the drawing of the cat on the target. But I mean, maybe uh, they're using an old, Arbalon's using an old photo. Or maybe, you know, he drew a more um, idealized form of his cat for me. It's possible. Uh, yeah, sure, like he's flaunting his high IQ and stuff. But, but that doesn't mean like he's not subject to bias. Uh, he totally still will be. Um, here we go. This little guy. Yeah, if you're not like fully centered and you press the button, the select aspect of it will not work. Turns out I'm really good at a cat game. 
Oh yeah, noticing and identifying cats. Yo, boy, you know it. I am there. I can do it. Uh, is it you? No, it's wrong. It's, it was in the top, right? Oh, yeah, like, right here. Right where that cat was. Yeah, it turns out there's a finite amount of places they can be in this, and which makes it a little bit easier than it would be in real life if you were just kind of confronted with the... With like a dead end, with a bunch of cats, and you go, all right, which 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 one? It's like, I don't know, man. That was like it's over there. Look, look how fat that one is compared to the one in the picture. Uh, great, here we go. No, go. I was pressing the button, man. White. Oh no, 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 no! I was pressing the button. But see, there the speed was such that I was having starting to have trouble, like actually controlling the flashlight. But it's fine. Like I doubled the score. But because it's the cat game, I'm still sad. Doubling is not enough. Welcome to the cruel world of WarioWare Inc. The Grid.